<sighs> Yo, what's going on, Comfy Gang? It's Comfy Neat here. Um, so just so oh, fuck. Sorry, guys. I can't talk right now. I'm kind of on the manic side right now, so my thoughts are kind of racing at like a thousand miles per hour, and my speech can't really keep up with it. So sorry if I like stutter or just. I don't know, act like a complete DJ. But anyways, um, today is a special occasion because it's the day I officially announced my new series, The Great Neat Ascension. And what this is, um, basically I'm gonna spend this video talking about, I guess, my, I guess, plans for this series and the whole thought process behind it. And Basically because I'm also just a lazy, a lazy bum who wants to make low effort content and haven't really prepared anything um, of, I don't know, better quality. So yeah, anyways, um, yeah, so basically the reason I'm making this series is because I kind of always had it at the back of my head when I made this channel that I would maybe try and do something, something like this eventually because I've always um, at times have been like deep into self-improvement stuff and you know there was a time when I was really all like positive about that stuff and I've tried several times to uh, I guess improve myself and you know do all that stuff like go to the gym consistently and eat right and you know cut out all video games and YouTube and quit all my addictions and stuff like that. But it never really seemed to work out. But, um, you know, quite a few of you guys actually have been, I don't know, kind of like prodding me in this direction one way or another, kind of asking me if I was gonna make content about, um, you know, coming out of Neat Dumb. So, um, I thought I would kind of, well, I guess because people are people were asking, and it was sort of partly, you know, like in the back of my head, like the idea was at the back of my mind. So I was like, yeah, why not um, try and make something like this? So yeah, and um, here we are. And um, what what my plans for this channel? What the fuck am I saying? What my plans for this series are is that um, I'm basically going to be trying to get out of Neatum, but really in my own special way, because I guess the logical thing to do would be to, um, you know, try and get a job and, you know, I don't know. I feel like some people might want me to just try and get a job at, I don't know, McDonald's or something and just flip burger patties or like do some like asinine shit like that. No offense to, to anybody who works there, but that's just how I see it. And um, yeah, um, if, I, if I ended up doing that, then I feel like there would be really no point because first of all, I'd probably accomplish that goal pretty quickly. And I'm not sure it would really, um, you know, be making the most of this, um, I guess, situation or I guess opportunity that, that I have as, I guess, a need. And, um, you know, I don't know, just personally, I feel like the ideal need is someone, the ideal need situation would be someone who, um, I guess, uses their time in the most, I guess, takes advantage of all the free time that they have to actually, you know, I guess invest it in things that are worthwhile in skills and hobbies that are you know actually help build them up as people versus just you know selling out and um you know working some dead-end job which i'm pretty sure i could do pretty easily but you know i feel like it wouldn't lead me to genuine happiness and it would honestly just uh cause me to end up spending all my free time trying to cope by doing the things I was doing anyways as I need so it really wouldn't change much for me except for the except for the part where I'm earning you know maybe a little bit of income but um 
yeah, so what I intend to do instead is basically, um, I guess, try and come out of being a neat in my own way, which is, you know, becoming the ideal neat or, you know, the ascendant, um, I don't know, God tier neat, <laughs> God tier neat, or like neat turned God, like basically ascend from a neat into a, I don't know, a God or whatever. Well, that's kind of narcissistic and that's probably not the right term, but like, cause people say that like Con Conor McGregor was a neat and that's kind of what I'm trying to go for, even though I'm obviously probably not as talented as him or genetically gifted. But, you know, I feel like most people spend their lives not ever living up to their potential as people. And I want to, you know, take this opportunity that I have while I'm still not um, being pressured to uh, get out of the house or anything uh, to really, you know, give it one last try, one last effort to, you know, try and live up to, I guess, my potential as a person. And I want to basically film this journey. And um, I guess what my plans for the series are is going to be basically analyzing myself, going over my strengths and weaknesses as a person and, you know, formulating a plan and seeing if I can basically, um, you know, pull through with it. And I'm going to be looking at, I guess, things that I'm interested in doing, like music, for example, and um, I don't know, fitness, I guess, and things that I want to have in success, that I want to have success in, like my, um, I guess, dating life, I guess, like, the end goal for me is basically to just have like a harem of women at my beck and call, maybe like 10 different girls in a rotation. Okay, I'm obviously like just joking and that's probably <laughs> beyond anything I could ever achieve, but you know, a girlfriend would be nice, so maybe that. And um, what else? Just becoming a functioning member of society, but not just like barely like getting by, but actually thriving as a person you know, being physically and mentally healthy and, um, you know, being able to talk to people and form genuine connections, basically find a way to overcome all of the problems that have been, um, like, I guess, bothering me for all my life, because I feel like if I were to just become a wagey, a wage slave, a wage cook, then that really would only be like putting a bandaid on all the deep existential whatever fucking crises that I'm facing right now, if you can even call it that, and all like the psychological like fucked up things that are going on in my head. Yeah, so I want to kind of also address all that stuff, you know, maybe see a therapist. I don't know if that stuff will work or not. Maybe, um, you know, do a lot of research on my own and address and just, you know, do a lot of introspection, maybe try stuff like meditation and all that stuff. And basically take you guys along for the ride. And as far as music goes, like I've always wanted to be, it's always been my dream to be a, I guess, at least some sort of producer and not even be like the most famous producer in the world, but just make like decent money doing it and maybe get a few like big placements on like some hip hop or like R&B records. And, you know, I could also film that part of me and maybe even try like filming, like, I mean, recording like a rap song, I guess, just for like the shits and giggles. And, you know, just basically spending time doing all these like productive things and finding ways to include like, I guess things like video games in my life, but not in a way where it's destructive and I'm playing that shit like 13 hours a day, but um, where it's basically achieving some sort of balance. So um, I'm not sure if I'm rambling right now, but I guess the TLDR version of this is that I want to become a better person 
and not just get by like most people are in society and um but actually thrive and yeah and obviously there's a massive chance that this could fail but i feel like even then um maybe um, it could also serve as a lesson as an opportunity to learn for whoever's watching my channel and also you know maybe answer some really um deep questions um, that are being asked by a lot of people in society like for example like is it naive to like pursue your dreams is it naive to um, try to become the best person you can possibly be or should we all just be content with who we are and just you know i don't know accept the fact that some of us are just you know fucked right like some of us are just not meant to succeed in society uh certainly it doesn't seem like i'm meant to succeed but some people might say that i haven't given it my all and i certainly have feel like i haven't and you know is it even possible for someone like me to put in my all or is there just something wrong with my brain chemistry or my upbringing or maybe potentially my environment that keeps me from you know achieving my full potential as a person and also um yeah obviously uh, i might just be a fucking giant lol cow too and just might be delusional so you know i might be satisfying that crowd as well um but yeah i just want to answer all of these like questions too like i guess that's something that i'd be doing by making the series um also um kind of getting into ideas of um like i don't know just tackling a lot of like self-improvement questions i'm going to be exploring or trying to explore all the different methods of you know self-improvement different theories about it and um you know maybe basically sort of tackling the the problem of self-actualization which is um i feel like yeah, maybe even, even exploring whether that's actually possible, you know, in today's day and age. And, um, yeah. And honestly, um, I don't know. Um, oh yeah. And also just, you know, even going over maybe basic life skills that will probably help me regardless of whether I succeed at this sort of self-actualization journey or not like basic skills like grooming like getting the right haircut fat like not not fat like fashion but not like fucking like I don't know high fashion like designer shit but just like learning to dress appropriately skills that I, I haven't seemed to develop properly uh, growing up and um, maybe that I could somehow take the time to uh, I guess learn because I feel like even if I don't succeed I'm eventually going to have to um, learn these skills as a wage slave just so that I don't get ostracized and treated like shit even though it's probably going to happen given that I'm complete autist but yeah and also you know maybe you know tackle things like my social skills my inability to speak fluently and my tendency to like stutter and go like like fucking act like a retard and also just cut the swearing like way down and maybe sound like a mature adult for once and actually talk dress act and like i don't know just be somebody my age you know and yeah i guess it'll be interesting for you guys to see and um i'll also be experimenting with a lot of a lot more like video production techniques and trying to uh up the quality of my content as i've said um for the thousandth time on this channel and you know maybe that might be something that you guys that will be a part of my journey too like video editing so yeah anyways i feel like that's probably the crux of what i have to say for this um i guess intro episode to my my series the need ascension if you find this interesting in any way and um want to see more of me or you know just want to uh revel in the fact that i'm just an absolute lol cow and delusional then you know make sure to hit the like the like and subscribe button down below 
And yeah, um, hopefully I'll be consistent and that uh, you guys will enjoy this journey and uh, enjoy the ride with me. Anyways, this is Kaipini signing out and peace.